แขนสาวอีสานเนื้อนิ่มนิ่มนิ่มนิ่มนิ่มนิ่มสาวอีสานนิ่มนิ่มเฮ้ย welcome back to our hungry adventures guys if you have ever been to Bangkok then you already know that Bangkok is a bustling active noisy city and sometimes you just need to escape somewhere however many people living in Thailand they are working five six days a week so they just don't have enough free time to go somewhere somewhere far away however there is one place which is just ideal for one day trip from Bangkok it is called Kokret it is an island in Chao Phraya River located in Nontabri province which is just a few kilometers away from Bangkok and this island is known for its unique culture for local handicrafts and especially pottery for delicious local street foods traditional street foods cooked accordingly to ancient recipes and many more and today I'm inviting you to do a one day trip from Bangkok to Koh Krat which is why if you have got some time and empty space in your stomach you can join me in this hungry adventure let's go It was a very short ride, probably just 25 minutes. Not more than 20 kilometers and now one minute more on another side of the river because the island is right here. Come on! <laughs> Nak nak. Ich. Uh, ni gi kilo. Hasim kilo. 50 kilograms of rambutan. Hai mai kan. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Ich. Welcome to Kokret, a man-made island in Chao Phraya River. The boat ride was around 40-50 seconds, not more than one minute, and it cost only three baht, three baht for a ticket. That's amazing, three baht. What can you buy for three baht in 2023? Anyway, guys, here is the place where you can rent a bicycle because many people come here to, to cycle around the island. Because the island is small, you can cycle around in 30 minutes, maybe even less. But there are also motorbike taxi in case you don't want to burn fat. <laughs> anyway, today is Sunday and it's supposed to be quite many people because first time I went to this island three years ago during the times of the pandemic and I was a little bit shocked of how many visitors the island has back in the times of the pandemic when entire Bangkok was completely empty. It was a little bit shocking yeah, and quite crowded. So let's see. Are there any tourists today? Let's go! Guys, Kokret is the island that was formed over 300 years ago by digging a canal between two curves of Chao Phraya River. Today, there are still no major roads on the island and there are no cars. The air feels fresher, which only highlights its rural village style. Kokret is famous settlement of Thais who are descendants of the Mon people who centuries ago used to live in the present-day Myanmar. Mon Kingdom ruled much of Myanmar till they had to flee in the mid-17th century when Burmese forces took over the region. 
Mon people were accepted by the Thais and allowed to settle in various quiet areas around the country, and Kokret is one of such places. People live here in a traditional community with a very simple lifestyle. They stay in the wooden huts and simple concrete houses with palm trees surrounding their homes. The temples on Kokret are old and beautiful. Many of scriptures are written in Mon language. People often say that Kokret temples have retained the authentic Ayutthaya era style. The most recognizable landmark on the island is the leaning 10 meter mon style chetty, which you might see as you approach the island from the main pier, or if you are taking a boat tour on Chopria River to Nontaburi. Kokret Island is loved by Thai visitors due to its tranquil atmosphere and lush greenery. Convenient location and rich history, however, you won't meet many foreign tourists here. So if you will be looking for a peacefully interesting place to spend a day not far from Bangkok, then you should definitely try visiting Kokret. Mickey, 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 Mickey. Back from Indonesia. Yeah, yeah, back from uh, Indonesia. I see you. Sukhothai. Rajasthan. Pizza leo, pizza leo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pizza leo, Super hot. I'm swimming in my sweat. <laughs> but there are some shadowy areas where we can breathe in and breathe out. What's happening here? Massive variety of various desserts. Kanom wan, kanom wan. What do you have? Ani laka nin chin, right? Oh, my pain. My pain. Majak kruntev. <laughs> Look like Trunte people or Bangkok people. This is little mushroom. Bean. Ah, tua. Falang ni piak. Falang ni piak. Tamay alwan mat. I've never seen this type of desserts before. They really look extremely unique. Yeah, so probably they have their own recipes. Like I told you, uh, people of Kokret, they do lots of arts, lots of handicrafts. So they do pottery and they do extremely amazing desserts. Quite unique. You won't find it in regular uh, flea markets, morning markets or floating markets. You gotta come here and taste it all. It is ideal Sunday morning, which begins with delicious Thai desserts. Ron. Come here. Call Jan, Demi. Okay. This one looks very special. 12 baht. Huge. Okay, okay. Rodai, Rodai. Look like real mushroom. Head me, damn head, damn me. Mmm. Alloy. Mmm. Chai, hop. Mmm. Very tasty. Yeah, there is this bean feeling. Very delicious. How like it? Oxy. 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 All right.
สวัสดีครับที่กาแฟโบราณมีใช่ไหมครับมีครับมีเอาเอากาแฟโบราณหวานน้อยหวานน้อยได้ครับใช่ครับสามสิบครับไม่บอกอร่อยอร่อยครับโอ้ยดีชิสอังกฤษสไตล์กาแฟแค่ดื่มไฟฟ้าคัพสัปดาห์และสิ่งไม่จะพอเพราะมันแสนอร่อยและมันแสนร้อนแต่นี่คือดื่มไฟฟ้าคัพแบบเบรนด์เบรนด์ไม่ทำงานเลยทุกอย่างแต่ตอนนี้เราเริ่มต้นที่ยากที่สุดเพราะว่าตอนนี้เราเข้าสู่ Because now we are entering the market zone. Which is also called Otop Village, O T O P. One tambon, one product. And what does it mean, tambon? Tambon is a Thai name for sub-district because we all know that Thailand has many provinces. However, Thai people call them Changwat, not provinces. So tambon is the part of Changwat. One Changwat, one province, consists of a few tambon. And one tambon, one product. It is a type of standard developed by local authority to support local producers. So in one tambon, in one sub-district, they choose the best product and then advertise it so that it, it could be uh, promoted internationally, it could be exported. And so that uh, tourists come into Thailand, they would see a product. It could be a soap, some handicraft, accessories, it could be some snack and so on. Many, many, many types of products. Uh, So that international visitors come into Thailand and said locals uh, exploring local markets and so on, they will see this product with with label O top and they will know. So this product is produced locally by local people, by local communities, and uh, it is the high class standard because only one product is promoted, is given uh, this label O top, one product, one tambon, yeah, only one. <laughs> And now we're entering Otto Village, and there will be many, many, many cool products made by local producers, local villagers. Let's buy something to support those villagers. Let's go. Okay, here is the magic sign. So there must be something special here. What is this? Mosquito spray. Nature product. Is it yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's made with lemongrass? Um, lemongrass, yep. Um, uh -huh. Turmeric. Yep. Turmeric. Yep, yep. Ah. So it's like 100% natural. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can so there is like no, no, no deed? No, no, it's no only deed. like um, the alcohol, yeah, we uh -huh. have like alcohol, but it's for like, for use like... Can, cannot... No, alcohol, no, yeah. What is it? What is it? No, it's not. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll, 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 I'll try because mosquito love to eat oh, me you, a lot. Me too. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want one, please. Okay, thank you. Uh, what is this? This one, this one is like um after um mosquito mosquito bite, you can use to apply this one on your uh -huh. skin. Ah, yeah, yeah, after. Ani milao, ani milao. Oh, you have many natural products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Herbal face mask. Kapo ma kap, kapo ka pati kap. Nice, I got mosquito spray. Even though I prefer sprays with chemicals like. 50% deed to make sure that nothing is gonna eat me for sure because Thai mosquitoes are crazy. Not just mosquitoes in Southeast Asia because when I was in Jakarta, when I was in Indonesia, I've got a feeling that I had dengue fever because it was really, really bad. Uh, I didn't visit hospital, but all, all symptoms, symptoms were accordingly to the dengue fever and I had mosquito bites 
So yeah, now every time I'm going somewhere, I just make sure I have a mosquito spray in my backpack. It's very important. Anik, I like apple juice. <laughs> Hi, Lo. Tin Lo. Oh, Kun Jai Di. Ani Cha. Cha. Cha, my cup. Oh. Tam En Lo. Ani Ani Kun. Cha, my cup. Oh. Kun Tam Ni Gi Pi Lao. Twenty Pi. Twenty. Twenty Pi. Twenty Pi. Twenty Pi. Oh. Wow. Ah, sim, damn it, cap. Interesting herbal tea. Not sweet, but not not bitter. Hmm. Slightly oily aftertaste. Interesting. Hello, hi. Hello, hi. My tongue, my tongue, my tongue, my tongue, side, cap. Okay. Kapu ma, cap. Chok di, cap. Kapu ma, cap. Kapu ma, cap. สาวไทยสวยไหมสาวไทยสวยไหมสาวไทยสวยสาวอีสานสวยด้วยเนื้อแข็งเนื้อแข็งสาวอีสานเนื้อนิ่มนิ่มนิ่มนิ่มนิ่มนิ่มสาวอีสานนิ่มนิ่มดีครับอันนี้น้ำแข็งหวานใช่ไหมครับเอาซีซุ่มใช่ครับสวัสดีครับฮะ I don't know อันนี้ขนมที่ไหน same or not maybe a little bit we can move ขวาที่นี่รถติด Five baht pleasure. Thank you. Okay, ยินดีที่ได้รู้จักครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณมากครับสวัสดีครับวอเตอร์ and some orange flavor for fire bar. Hello. What are you doing? Some tummy. Some tummy. Some tummy. Some tummy. Some tummy. จริงเหรอหลับไก่หลับหมูหลับหมูหรอหลับไก่ก็ได้หลับไก่ก็ได้หรออ๋อเพราะว่าผมเดินหอมมากผมเดินเดินเดินแต่หอมใช่จบไก่ย่างครับเผ็ดไหมไม่เผ็ดเผ็ดนิดเดียวเผ็ดปกติเผ็ดปกติอ่าแต่ว่าไม่เผ็ดมาอร่อยนะใช่ใช่อาหารไทยตรงกินเผ็ดรัสเซียโอ้รัสเซียพูดไทยเก่งอยู่กรุงเทพหลายปีแล้วเอาน้ำอะไรไหมเอาน้ำเย็นน้ำเปล่าใช่ครับว้าว looks quite amazing giant statue of Buddha on another side of the river and yeah you can find quite many various dishes here for various desserts and so on however to me nothing can beat this combo Somtam Thai, grilled chicken, lap kai, which is a warm meat salad with shallots and spices. It goes very well with special type of apple juice, especially a Leo apple juice or Chang Leo juice. And this is Nam Tok Mu, which is warm meat salad. However, this lady cooked it together with liver, probably pork liver and means pork meat. This is not the classic way of cooking it, not the classic recipe. However, I believe it's got to be tasty. And some vegetables. This is ideal combination. 
I've traveled out of Thailand for a while, for a few months, and I was unable to find something that would conquer my heart, because this dish, this combo is just ideal. Mm. There is a thing about some tam, and the longer you wait, the more juice Papaya gives to the salad, which is why you got to eat it as soon as possible, otherwise it will be, the texture will be different, which is why you're supposed to eat it freshly cooked. Let's try lapkai, lapkai. And the smell attracts lots of flies, especially by the river. But you have to sacrifice your time and fight with these flies while you can enjoy the view, beautiful river view and sounds of motorboats facing you by. Nam tok. Mmm. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's funny that Nam Tok Mu, the name of this dish, but in Thai language Nam Tok means waterfall. Nam is water and tok it's like fall, nam tok, fun tok, like rainfall, waterfall. So I'm really curious, what does it have in common with any waterfall? Should I eat it and then water is falling from me? That's why it is nam tok, that's why it's called waterfall. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you know. How are you? Easy but him, eh? Uh-huh. Okay, scan them, eh? Scan. Okay, okay. All right, now it doesn't look that sunny anymore. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna, I will be riding back to my place in the rain, like I always do. And here is the pottery place. พยายามได้มั้ยครับทําเหรอใช่หนึ่งร้อยบาทหนึ่งร้อยบาทก็ได้ก็ได้แต่ทําไหมเดี๋ยวมาลงชื่อซื้อดินตรงนี้ก่อ
อาฮะนางเจนนี่โอเคตั้งตั้งกล้องตรงนี้ไหมตรงนี้ขาวางตรงนี้ที่หนึ่งอาฮะที่หนึ่งจีนหนึ่งจีนหนึ่งฮึชโอเคพร้อมโอเคอันดับแรกนะจุ่มน้ำก่อนอ่าฮะแล้วก็ทำอย่างนี้อ่าฮะแล้วก็เอามาจับดินโอเคอ่ะจุ่มน้ำเลยแล้วก็ปาดมือจับอย่างนี้ค่ะบีบเข้ามาบีบให้ตรงนี้มันเล็กๆสมอสมอ่ะบีบเข้ามาถ้ามันแห้งถ้ามันจะายก็ชัวแฮนด์วอเตอร์นะอ่าและอันนี้อันนี้อยู่อันนี้อยู่ข้างข้างอันนี้อยู่ข้างบนอ่าโอ้ขุดชาแล้วเข้าใจยังอ่าจุ่มน้ำจ้ะอ่าพอได้อย่างนี้นะต่อไปจ้ะจับอย่างนี้อัพขึ้นนะซับซับแอนด์สโลนะปึ๊บอัพแอนด์ดาวซับซับสโลสโลอัพแอนด์ดาวอ่าอืมไนส์เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เฮ้เ
Hanom Wong traditional Thai style donuts. Oh, Very rare find. I found it only one time in my life in Sukhothai on uh, Loi Kratong. And it was very delicious. Let's try how tasty it is here. Mmm, yeah. That's a real Kanon Wong. Palang Roja Kanon Wong. Small, sweet, crispy donuts. Mm, amazingly tasty. So if you ever wanted to try Kanon Wong, you can come to Coke Red. Oh, yeah. Finally, the sugar level increased, so I feel happier. <laughs> because in the morning, in the first part of, like, till till the afternoon, I am the most miserable animal in this hemisphere. Even coffee doesn't help. Adikha, ani sabulo. Sabu maprao lo. Yes. Makam. Makam. Kamin. Kamin. Handmade my home. Name. Yes. Tail number. my home. Seven Oh. The the mark. ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่